Hi guys, so today I thought we could revisit the Schmincke 8 half pan palette and see kind of what I've done with it. So here it is and what I have put in there is some Rivervale handmade watercolours and these are beautiful. Uh, let's just um, rewind a second and if you haven't seen the other video, this is what um, this is what the thing, the palette looks like when it comes. Okay, so it comes with eight colors, and it. Um, and then it comes with so it comes with these eight colors and then you have these little things that go in here to hold those pants in place and then when you close it you attach this little water well um, so then you can take this off and then pour the water in here. Um, and let's just quickly swatch these colours. Okay, so let's just swatch it on this Canson watercolour paper. Uh, I really love it. It's like a couple of bucks at Walmart and it's just really, it's, it's really decent um, paper. So. So I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember what these colours are called, but um, I know this is lemon yellow, I think one of them is cadmium, some of them come with a warning on them um, that there's dangers and so I'm not really keen of, on that. This is um, yellow ochre, which I prefer kind of different variations to the yellow ochre. I think this is ultramarine blue. Um, I think this is Prussian blue. And I'm using an Escoda travel, uh, Reserva Travel Brush number two. This, I can't remember which green that is. And this is sepia which I really like this colour. Okay, so that, those are the colours that it comes with and you can find some good mixing, um, some really good mixing videos on here. On, um, so let's just, oh, let's just try and make a So there's like a purple, um, if you add a bit more sort of blue you get a, so it has some pretty nice, um, you can make a lighter green here. And you can even add a bit of ochre to make that a bit, a bit more of a sap green or an olive green. This is kind of your classic um, beginning kind of mixing palette. You've got your warm and your cool yellow, warm and cool red, warm and cool blue. And um, but I found um, these handmade watercolors on Etsy, and they are. Let me just see. These are the Rivervale watercolours and so they come in a really, actually it's a pretty nice sized half pan so you can see that's the Schmincke one and they're, um, they're filled really well. They have a nice little, um, just the, they have the name of the um, colour on the side and um, they're just gorgeous so I've popped those in. So you can see how generous the pan size is because these will not even fit down the sides here 
Um, so these are not all the colors that I have, but some of them I have in my uh, main palette. So I have this Pyrrhal Red and I have um, this ISO Yellow. And, and in this palette, I have the um, Ruby Red, I think, the Champagne Gold, and is that it? The Quin Rose. That might be it. So yeah, they're, they're really, really beautiful. I mean, part of the preservative that she uses is cloves. And I was kind of worried about that being a very strong smell. But it's really not. It's really a lovely smell. I'm just trying to find. It's it's really it's it's really comforting when you open the tin and just just a subtle kind of hint of um, like fall, you know, um, cooking or something like that. Really comforting and nice. And I just wanted to see if I can show you. So this is the Phantom Rose and the Phantom Fire. And then I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up now but the um, Foo Light has a beautiful sparkle. I can't get it to. I'll keep trying and see if I can get that, um, that sparkle on camera but okay so here's a page of some swatches on this and see if I can get this to sparkle. So there you can see the beautiful ruby red and the champagne gold and um, so I've just kind of swatched those. The malachite is beautiful, the verdigris is a really nice uh, like um, probably my favourite instead of like a thalo green it's a really really beautiful version of that and then Nicosia green earth is, is the Nicosia is kind of like a green earth it's a really pretty colour. So I just put a bit of the ISO yellow in the flower there, just with the, with the champagne, just to try that. And um, let's see. So I think my first swatches, where are they here? So these were my first swatches of the colors. So we have the, the Porphyry Violet Ochre, Cote d'Azur uh, Violet Ochre, Red Ochre Deep, the Thulite, French Clay, Pink Pipestone, Iso Yellow, Pyrrhal Scarlet and the Quinn, I think it's Quinn Rose, not Quinn Pink. Um, and then she also popped in um, this French Clay which is a really beautiful like um, sort of pinky version of an ochre sort of thing. And then also the Lemon, ochre, lemon Yellow Ochre down here which is Yellow oak is not really one of my favourites. I kind of prefer this, but um, that is a really nice subdued version of, of that. And then I just like a little, and I love this, it's kind of like a little makeup palette. Again, I'm not sure if you can kind of see some of the sparkle there. And so I was just trying kind of the Queen Pink um with next to like this is the daniel or the it's quinn rose or i'm not sure but you'll you'll see it in a shop but um i'll actually i'll link this all below as well this is the daniel smith quinn rose and you can see how not nice of a version this is this is the schminka ruby red which is also a similar color and um then because i kind of had this on my brush i just mixed this with a little bit of the thu light which brings it to a really really lovely um, muted pink and you get um, a little bit of grain in there it's a really nice texture and then this is the opera rose with French clay uh, ruby red and pink pipestone and then again I just did another little sort of makeup palette up here um, just adding the French clay and the um, Verona gold ochre the Daniel Smith one and then uh, let's see. So here you can see the uh, Pyrrhal Red next to the Daniel Smith Mine Red and the Quinn, uh, her Quinn Rose next to some other pinks. So we have, um, you can see it's a, sort of a brighter version of the Schmincke Ruby Red. It's really pretty. Um, all of her colours are so gorgeous. They just certainly do not disappoint. And... Um, 
here we go so these are some more swatches and then I I, I mixed them with um, so this the colors there I mixed them with into it's actually interference copper from Daniel Smith and let's see if I can get it to you can see how pretty that is they're really really lovely they're, they're lovely to mix with other colors they're just beautiful um, and so I did an actual, uh, so this is a Windsor and Newton one, and so let's see, so here is um, a, so there's some swatches, and here I've done like a dispersion test, which they don't really dis disperse a lot in the water, but um, that might be good if you want like more control. And um, I've never found it like a problem. They're really, really so lovely to work with. There's a glazing and a lifting test, so you can see how well they lift. Um, except for the red ochre deep is a very, very strong color. Like you've got to water it down quite a lot. And then I did some little um, kind of vignettes inspired by Alonya and um, uh, just kind of showing things that I'd like to paint with them. And then here's a little buffalo and the last two um, colours. And then over here I just, um, I haven't finished it but just uh, kind of doing a buffalo here and you can see how beautifully they work. So they're really, really lovely. Um, let's just let's just actually swatch them so you can see them in action. So, um, so this is the Nicosia Green. And I think that when I swatch or when I paint, I got a question about this. Um, my paints seem uh, less bright and I think it's just because I don't work the paint enough. I'm always worried about getting sort of too much paint. So I just always err on the side of too, too little and then I can add more later. Um, and I've probably used too much water in my brush, brush versus the amount of paint that I um, that I use so this is um, the gorgeous color I was talking about and I'm thinking of getting another one of those for in my travel palette as well instead of a phthalo green I really love it so this is this is the um, this is the phantom rose and you can see how quickly there that reconstitutes Uh, this, uh, so sorry, that was the Phantom Fire, which is a little bit more peachy. This is the Phantom Rose, which is more pink. And then we have the French Clay, which is just gorgeous. And then we have the pink pipe stone, which has actually quite a lot of um, grain in it. Like it's very, um, very grainy, but it's it's um, so really lovely to, for doing anything like that. You need a bit of texture. It's beautiful for that. And then we have the Thulite. I'm almost scared to use this. This is pretty expensive for one half pan. Um, but I love it so much. The color's just gorgeous. So.
and again it's it's like a very granular kind of texture to it um this is the red ochre deep so you can see how strong that color is and then this is the Cote d'Azur um I think Cote d'Azur violet ochre or something like that It's quite a light colour, but it's really, really pretty. And then lastly, we have the Porphyry Violet, Violet Ochre. So that is the colours and you can see how beautifully, still can't get that blue light sparkling but um, and then you have, so you can mix the, the these phantom rose ones, the iridescent ones with any of the other colors and you get a really beautiful, so. You just get these beautiful effects. Um, these other colors so here is the ruby red here's the champagne gold and you can see again how quickly these are reworking and rewetting um, here's the quin pink or quin rose Really beautiful colour. And let's see, Pearl Red. Again, it's such a vibrant and beautiful colour, and you can see how quickly that reworks. And then here is the ISO Yellow. And again, like you can mix, you know, a bit of the pearl red with, um, you know, a bit of the sparkly. So sorry, you didn't see that. Um, with a bit of sparkle, and you can pop in a bit of the yellow ochre there. Um, the ISO yellow with some of the Quinn pink. So get like a, a, a more of an organic vermilion colour. Um, so yeah, these are really, really beautiful. Um, to work with. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.